What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I kind of changed my mind a little about the whole Termius Cave. I think that's what it's called. Hold on. Let me read it. Terminus, or term, Terminus Cave. Terminus Cave. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Yes, changed my mind a bit on that because there are some rare Pokemon and there are some items that I kind of want to get. Before I go into the next town, trust me guys, I know, I know, Draven likes to change his mind a lot, but it's for the greater good and all that stuff. So, in our next adventure right here, Termitus Cave, and, uh, well, we need a Pokemon that needs a uh, Rock Smash right here, and, uh, again, all these Pokemon that I'm, well, teaching moves and all that stuff, they'll get their old moves back. Trust me guys, I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional at this, I guess. I don't know. All right, Rock Smash. Who will be able to learn it? Let's see. Let's see. Huh. What about Goku? It's an awesome Pokemon right here. And well, close combat, Bone Rush. Huh. Okay, so I'm just gonna take away Bone Rush for the time being. I'm gonna teach him uh, new moves and all that stuff because. In Termitus Cave, you'll be able to find some other moves or some other uh, other stuff right here that can actually help us out. So, let's go ahead and use this Rock Smash. This episode's going to be a long one, so hope you guys are ready for the bumpy ride right here. So, here we go, another Rock Smash. And here we found ourselves a Max Revive. A very good uh, item. Very, very dang good item. And it's an abandoned cart right there, so let's see. Nothing right there. Oh wait, there's a Rock Smash area right here? Hold on. I don't even know. That would be cool. Put more scissors. Or no, more, no, not more scissors, but more, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, more, more trains that we can actually see right here. And, well, let's see. Oh, there's an item right there, but we're gonna get discovered by this guy. If I defeat you, I'm going to head home and bake some cookies. Well, that's odd. Okay, so here we go. Black Belt Yanis wants the best. Battle us, and he's uh, coming out with a uh, soccer right here. Soccer to him. Alrighty. Alrighty. So let let's go ahead and use a fly attack. There we go. And Godzilla has not been hit, but this sock right here is about to get socked himself. Look at that. Say goodbye to sock. Yeah, it looks like those cookies are not going to be baked. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. And he will be coming out with a Pangoro, so I'm gonna continue right here. Now that little cute uh, panda bear that we found a few a few uh, episodes back, no longer cute because it's got that big old uh, body right there. Look at that, it looks evil. Evil. And it's, oh crud, it survived. Oh damn. Okay, so critical hit. And this guy right here, attack Rose, just because you guys already know it. Power of Punch, here we go. Flamethrower for the win. Suck it. Okay, alrighty. And well, there goes Black Belt Yanis. We have defeated him. I feel great about this. And uh, well, let's go ahead and grab this. And we found ourselves an X Defend. Okay, or X Defense. All right. So let's see. There's a few entrances in this whole area, and this is the reason to why I wanted to come in here because. You'll be able to, you'll be able to find some TMs, very rare TMs that you need. Now, if only I could find the way to get to that. Like, hold on. Oh, right here. Do do do. Here we go. Dragon scale. Alrighty, so that's a good one. And well, there's nothing else right here. There's like two entrances, two small entrances, and then a, another main entrance right here. So. I'm gonna try and get the main entrance or small entrances first before anything. And yes, I need to put on another repel because I do not want to get attacked by any of uh, these Pokemon right here. Now, if there was a repel for people, that would be great. Okay, here we go. Okay, alrighty, so that's been Rock Smash, and we get ourselves a big pro helping us with some uh, more money right there. Money, money, money. And, uh, well, let's see. There's an entrance right there. And I think this is not the main entrance, so let's check it out. And, well, I guess I'm... Yes, I am right, because there is a TM right there up ahead. And we get ourselves a TM31 Brick Break, which is a very, very good move for any kind of fighting-type Pokemon. Alrighty. Now, 
I did say in the last episode that this place right here is home to a legendary Pokemon. Unfortunately, right now, we won't be able to do anything except for just explore the whole place. And then, you know, later on, hopefully see the guy. So here's the main entrance of Terminus or Terminus Cave. And trust me, guys. It's a long way. It's a long, long way. There are also Pokemon in here that you'll try and find. Some rare Pokemon. Here we have, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Ariodos. Not one of the rare Pokemon that I was talking about, but still a Pokemon. I'm gonna get the heck out of here. There is a Pokemon here that I like. Uh, Noivern. Have you guys ever heard of that Pokemon? Yes, a normal and dragon-type Pokemon. It's one of the new, uh, new dragon-type Pokemon that, you know, gets shown in Pokemon X when it was first coming out. And everybody was thinking that this probably could be like an audio Pokemon, a sound Pokemon, or something like that. And, well, we break break it, or we, we rock smash this, and, oh crud. Oh my god, okay, so a Graveler is coming out. Still don't want to battle you. Now, there is a little thing that I kind of want to do. Now, uh, off screen I have been capturing multiple Pokemon, mainly for me to transfer them to Pokemon Sword and Shield, and the other one just to have them on file right here. Kind of want to complete the Pokedex here. I've always, you know, I've always uh, slacked off on that portion of this whole game right here. Now, in uh, Pokemon X and Y, there's not a lot of uh, new Pokemon. I think they only came out with like maybe 50 Pokemon. 50. I'm not joking, guys. 50 Pokemon. Correct me if I'm wrong. And, uh, well, ah, jeez. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. 50 Pokemon, and here it comes, Worker Narek. Coming out with his Graveler. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, so they, it, they only came out with like 50 Pokemon and all that stuff. And uh, the rest is different kinds of Pokemon from all regions and stuff. My deal is that maybe like once I'm, how, like once I'm almost completed with this whole game right here, I'm going to start evolving, capturing different Pokemon and all that stuff, reading them and all that crud. Just for, you know, Pokemon X and Y and all of them, my Y version. Which I'm playing off screen, you know, that kind of stuff. And look at that, Guy of the Fierce Knight grows another level. And he's coming out with another Graveler. So let's go with the man right here, Kakashi Hitake. Alrighty. Let's get this. Let's go, Kakashi Hitake. And, uh, oh yeah. Hopefully I can uh, complete this whole thing soon. Here we go with the Surf Attack. Surf Attack does it. And, uh, of course, they have Sturdy. It's been a while since I've actually seen a Pokemon with that, and seriously, bro, why in the heck would you use self-destruct on both Pokemon? You're not really winning a battle, you're just being bitter. That's all you're doing. And look at that, Kakashi Hitake grows to level 61. I feel good. And Godzilla grows to level 63. And Golem's gonna be coming out, so I'm just gonna stay put right here. Let me guess, you're gonna try and uh, make my Pokemon faint? You know, with a little... Self destruct and all that crap. No. Okay, and of course he has sturdy and no, this guy does not use self destruct, but he does use bulldoze and all that crud. So let's go again. Surf attack for the win. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. And well, let's see. Bone saw grows level 55, and we win again. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see. Is there anything else right here? Now, I am following the handbook right here that I have. I I normally get I get, normally get lost around this area right here just because there's so many exits and entrances and all that crud. Can't keep track of everything. And well, here we have another boulder we can smash. And there we go. Grabbing this, we have a heat rock, and I do not know what the heat rock does. Oh. Probably, uh, I think it prolongs what you call it. Uh, yeah, I think it prolongs a uh, sunny day. Could be wrong. Comment down below, guys. And well, let's see. Talking to another guy. Lots and lots of uh, what you might call it, uh, gravelers and a bunch of uh, hikers around this area right here. So here we have hiker Aaron wanting to battle us. And well, let's see. Who am I? Hiker Aaron. I think I've already battled four of these trainers. Could be wrong. And there's like, what, five more trainers left, so yeah, yeah, we're in for a bumpy ride, guys. Me talking about all these stuffs. 
talking about uh, important stuff, issues in the world and all that crud. Like, um, let's see, Pokemon Sun and Moon has been announced right here on my channel that it will be, it will be played. I did buy myself a wired capture card, meaning we won't have any issues with the internet. Now, I am still, I'm, I'm currently, uh, you know, recording everything through my wired capture card, the NTR viewer and all that stuff. Why? Hey, why break that something that is not broken? Especially when, uh, especially when you're playing Pokemon X and Y. I mean, we still have good quality and all that crud. Um, I don't want to, well, I only want to play Pokemon Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon, on my captured wired, or my wired capture card, just because, yeah, it doesn't necessarily need the internet, but eventually I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do some different projects on that. I don't know, I'm just babbling, I'm just, you know. Rambling on telling you guys different stuff and all that crud, uh, but then again just I did leave a uh, What was it called? I did leave a poll for you guys uh, For Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's still going on Make sure to vote for your game um, I'm it's a poll between Sun and Moon uh, The one that wins out will be the next walkthrough game. I currently have both games, so it really doesn't matter which one you pick. It's just gonna be there. It's gonna like you know. It's finally gonna be on my channel, and I'm kind of probably gonna be caught up with everything right here with everybody. Or it's still gonna be years of years behind it or something like that. I've always been behind the whole uh, the whole Pokemon generations and all that crud. Now I'm not kind of. Well, maybe I don't even know. I'm, I think I am caught up a, a little. And here we go, fly attack. Octillery survives and look at this! God dang. Okay, so let's finish this guy off with a Dragon Rage. There we go, Dragon Rage. Does it? Nearly does it. Oh my god. Look at that. And Dimitri has been defeated. Alrighty. Alrighty, so let's see. There is a boulder right here. You will be able to find uh, an item, probably. So let's go. And yeah, we're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon, which is uh, ridiculous. And uh, it's another Graveler. I'm still trying to find that no Noivern. Noivern, I should say. Kind of want to capture Noivern and uh, keep it on my collection, you know? Okay. Let's see. Where are you? Huh. There probably is an item right here. Hold on. Oh, there we go. We found ourselves a Moonstone. And, well, let's see, there's nothing right there except for another entrance right here. Now, if I'm looking at this correctly, which I'm kind of not, let's see, there, there, we're at B, and, uh, yeah, we're going to be taking, oh, yeah, there's Andrea, yeah, there's going to be a, another exit right here, but there's uh, five different items that we need to get, so let's go right ahead and uh, locate these items. So let's see. Actually, she has a fighting type Pokemon. What am I doing? Boom! One final gambit, low sweep, right here, where, where right where it counts. She's trying to sweep the leg. She's trying to do Cobra Kai. Holy crud! Holy freaking crud! So, Cobra Kai. How have you guys loved it? Now, if you ask me, I can tell you this. I'm very, very, very frustrated because I've been waiting a whole year for the third season to come out. Yes, I'm, I'm one of those individuals that actually, that actually, uh, you know, purchased, whatchamacallit, uh, <laughs> and actually purchased YouTube pr uh, Premium or something, YouTube Red, and watched the first two seasons of uh, Cobra Kai on that. And again, because of uh, how it ended, the second season ended, I'm like extremely mad at the fact that you know they left uh, they left everybody in a uh, what you call it um, in a what you call it a, a cliffhanger a cliffhanger for the ages and now they well just a few days ago they announced that uh, the season three is coming out in January eighth and that season four is a go which only frustrates me even further because it's like come on man I want to watch it now. I want to watch it now. I'm really, really antsy about this. So comment down below what you guys uh, think about Cobra Kai. Did you like the show? I loved it. I hope it continues on and uh, brings in some more characters, kind of like Chosen, Terry Silver, Mike Barnes. You know, those guys. Not Sato. 
he, he, he died. That's right. <laughs> Anywho, let's continue on right here. Now, getting attacked by Gravelers. Oh, man, you guys got to stop attacking me. All right, let's see. Let's go right ahead and find that first item right here. It's a shortcut, and this one right here will take us to this item. And we found ourselves a Dust Stone, which will evolve certain Pokemon right there. And it's a pretty rare stone, too. You don't normally see a lot of them here. And let's see. Yes, we need to use as many repels as possible. Do not want to battle any Pokemon. And this one will take us to another item, I think. Let's see. Huh. Now, I'm pressing the button quickly. Where is that item? And it's nowhere to be found. And, well, let's see. Going up here. And all we're going to find is a slide right there. So, yep, we're going to be battling a lot of people. A lot of Pokemon. <laughs> Anywho, here we have a Black Belt Gunner with an AR, and he's coming out with his Toxic Croak. Okay. Alrighty, Toxic Croak, what you did, what you got? It's a pretty cool Pokemon. I really like Toxic Croak. I think I had him on my team one time when I was in, uh, when I was driving XC711. Pokemon Platinum. You know, that walk through the last for three, four years? I think I had him. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys remember that. And look at that, we defeated him. And he's coming out with a sock. So I'm going to continue right here with my Godzilla number three. And, well, let's go right ahead and fly up on the sky. See what you guys can do. Let's go, sock. Eat it. Look at that. Oh, wow, it's got sturdy. Good God. And here it comes. Close combat. And it looks... Wow, it, it looks... It looks uh, pretty uh, nasty when he, when he punches me, but... Yeah, not going to work. So let's finish this guy off. Automatic Dragon Rage. Or the win. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And there's Black Belt Gunner. Defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so let's see. There is, There might be an item right here somewhere. Like I said, there's five items around this area. And there's the second one. Or third one. Yeah, I think it's the third one that we have found. Okay, so that's another item right there. Now let us continue on right here. And uh, let's see, what else can we actually find in this area? Except for Pokemon and all that crud. Alright, so let's, uh, let's see, not right here. And, well, there's another trainer. Do not want to, do not want to battle him right now. Let's see what's up here. Look at that, using the Rock Smash. Oh yeah. Now we could already be making our way to the next, uh, the next city. That was the plan, guys, but, ah, God. I took a look at the handbook, and I saw Shadow Ball, uh, what was it? Shadow Ball and uh, Close Combat, and I was like, yeah, those are two moves that we really need in order to move on into this adventure. And breathe in, breathe out, deep breaths. Okay, let's battle. Okay. So here we are, going up against Battle Girl Haley, and she's coming out with her Medicham. Oh, damn. Medicham looking like a, a million and two bucks, and I'm moving this thing right here. Okay, so there is an item right there, so we're, we're, we're very close. We're very, very close. So let's go right ahead and fly onto this guy right here. Fly attack for the win. Now, I have been, uh, let's see, Mega Stones you can actually find right here, or not in this area, but in this game, and as well as Pokemon Auras, I did. I was, uh, hey, initially I was planning on doing, uh, what you might call it, uh, how to find a, how to find all the Mega Stones uh, episode and all that stuff. Still planning that. The only thing is, I'm not doing it on my Pokemon or as walkthrough, especially here because a lot of my material is narrated and, uh, let's see, what else? What else? Yeah, it's narrated and it, it, it's been a while for me to actually... Well, it's actually been a while for me since I've actually found it, you know, or since I've actually remember all the locations of all the Mega Stones. So, once I study all that, you guys will have a series of where to find all these Mega Stones. That way, you know, it, it will be easy for you guys right here. And, well, we defeated Battle Girl Haley. And look at that. Okay. I think it lagged a little. Huh. Still not lagging. Okay. Here we go. Here we found ourselves in Elixir. And, well, now we're going to be moving on right here. That was the fourth, fifth item right there. And on this spot right here, you'll be able to find this item, a full heal. Alrighty. 
Okay, and well, moving on forward. There is still nothing right there. Let's see. There is a trainer that we haven't ta taken on, so still got to battle this guy. Let's see. He's running, and oh, look at that. There's an item right there that we need. Come on. He's looking at us. People often say it's the beginning of the end. Whatever they do, they mean. I do not know. Okay, so here we go. Black Belt Ricardo coming out with his Hariyama. Okay, looking Hariyama, looking like a beast. Beast! Okay. Alrighty, let's do this. Fly attack for the win. Oh, uh, yeah. And, oh, wow. Huh, I didn't know that you can do that while I flew. Oh, wow. Okay, so that prevented me from doing anything. Well, it looks like we're going to have to flamethrower this guy right here. Holy crud. And, wow, he burned himself. And... Here we go again, and uh, yeah, that defeats my Pokemon, but he goes down with me. That's right, if I'm going down, you're going down with me, a-hole. Bam! Yeah, buddy. Look at that. That was the beginning of the end for my, uh, for my Pokemon right there. I did not know that you can actually do that when Pokemon flies. Huh. Hold on just a sec. This is the funny part. Get your hands off me, Nazi! Who are you? Tyler the Nazi! <laughs> uh, who are you calling a Nazi? <laughs> Watching King of the Hill, guys. Oh my god. Cotton Hill is the truest American hero. If he was still alive, I'd vote for him for president. That's right. Kill 50 men, kill 50, 50 more men. Okay, so there we go. We're healing up our Pokemon right there. And, well, let me go ahead and pause this for just a bit. I'm back, baby. Okay, so, something that, you know, another benefit to the wired capture card is that it, the audio will be there. It will be there. Uh, this, uh, well, the wireless capture card, you kind of need uh, an audio converter for it. Like, you need to wire it up and everything. And from what I'm using is it's both the NTR Viewer plus KitKat Slim. And I'm also using an audio converter right here. I mean, it's, it's, it's USB, and, and you know you can listen to it. And I'm using an application on my computer called Home Tech VHS to DVD, which it actually captures the the audio if you're not just using the application and all that stuff. And well, many of you guys have already noticed it kind of lags a little when I'm playing this game a little too long. So yeah, that's why I had to pause. And look at that, we found ourselves a TM30, TM30 Shadow Ball. It's a pretty good move. Awesome move. Actually destroys people. It's a dark Mea Mea. And well, now we're gonna have to actually move on right here. And oh wow, there's people waiting for us. So let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon right here. It's been a while since we've used these Pokemon, but here we go with Bone Saw and let's go with Gaia the Fierce Knight. Okay. Alrighty. Bring it. We're a pair of wanderers on a journey through the Kalos region with our trusty Pokemon. One of our favorite pastimes is to battle with the trainers we encounter on our journey. Pokemon are like treasure jewels strewn throughout the land. It's in the battle where they truly get a chance to shine. Huh, that's pretty cool. That's like a mouthful of that stuff right there. So here we go. Pokemon Rangers, Fern and Lee. And they will be coming out with whatchamacallit's uh... Some Pokemon right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're close. We're very close towards uh, some spot right here. Okay, so they got Nido King and Nido Queen. Pretty good Pokemon. No worries. We can defeat them both. We got the technology. So here we go. Get this. Get some right here. Psychic attack for the win. Suck it, Nido King. Look at that. It wasn't, it wasn't that hard. It was not that hard. And look at that, Kakashi grows to level 62. Here we go, Dragon Claw. And well, that poison point will get us right here. And here's a chip away. Not so effective. And yes, you get hurt by a rocky helmet, but we're still getting poisoned. So let's go right ahead, do this again, battle, and do the same process. Here we go, Psychic Attack. Do it. Yeah, buddy. Say goodbye. Alrighty, okay, alrighty, and look at that. Level 56, 
And... Well, look at that. Okay, alrighty. Pokemon Rangers have been defeated. My jewels have defeated your jewels. I feel good about that. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and... Uh, Again, heal our Pokemon. Make sure to bring some healing items, guys. It's always beneficial. So, Bonesaw has gotten his healing. And, well, let's continue on right here. There is another item that we can find. But we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon. And... Crap! I was hoping for a Noivern. It really was. Really was hoping for a Noivern. But no, it's an Ariados. Arianda Grande. An Arianda Grande. Okay. All right, so if you go this side right here, you're going to find the item that you need. What is it? We found ourselves an iron plate. And, well, that's good right there. And you will be able to find the next exit or the next entrance right here towards the very end. Now, it's a good thing that I actually have the handbook right here to help me locate this spot. And, well, let's see. Is there anything right here? No, you're going to find a trainer right there. Hey, hey, can't you see I'm working here? No. Did not know that you were working. Okay, so here we go. Battling this guy right here, Worker Yusuf. And he's coming in with one. Oh, wow. One Pokemon, and it's the thorn on my backside. So annoying. So very, very annoying. Alrighty, so let's see. What should we do? What should we do? Hmm. What should we do? Um. Do -do -do -do. I'm looking at the handbook right here. Okay, so already been. Oh, okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I was thinking about another cave. Yeah. Okay. Anywho, let's go ahead and just beat this guy. Uh, do not have the moves for this guy. Remember, Probopass is it's still a steel type Pokemon, so you're probably gonna have to hit it with like some kind of ground type Pokemon right here. Or does it have Levitate? Kind of does have Levitate. All right. And hmm. not so effective. So let's go ahead and use Close Combat. Oh uh, yeah. Feel the wrath of Goku, and of course it has sturdy. Annoying. Very annoying, and here comes its earth power. Ah, oh, crud. And yeah, our, our yeah, we 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 lowered our stats right here. So here we go. Aurora Sphere, Kamehameha attack for the win. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And Yusuf has been defeated. I feel great about that. Okay. All right. Hold on. Uh, if you talk to this guy, he's like, the bear, a closed skin. Okay. Back to work. He fell. Okay. Whatever. All right. So now, as you can see, you go right here. There's somebody blocking this entrance. It must be dangerous to go further ahead unless you are strong as a champion. Well, he gave us a he gave us a clue. We have to be the champion in order to get to that spot. Like I said, there is a Pokemon, a legendary Pokemon there, and uh, we are getting attacked again. Good guy, come on, give me a Noiver. What a Noiver. So yeah, there's nothing right there. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. And well, let's go right ahead and grab this item, and we found ourselves a Reaper cloth. Which is uh, very, very, very useful for a specific Pokemon right there. Now, I believe we're done right here. So, we're going to be using an escape rope because, yeah, it, it, that's all, folks. That is all, folks. So, that is pretty much it for Terminus Cave. And Terminus Cave? Terminus? I don't even know. I may be butchering names. I do not care. So, that is pretty much it for that, that spe specific spot right there. And, well... In the next episode, we will be going through the route, Route 19, I believe, to get to the final town. And, well, no more repels right here. Yes, sir. Look at that. And here we are. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode, going straight to the next town. And hopefully uh, another gym badge. I don't know. It could happen. Yeah, it probably could happen. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.